Hey everybody, little video here again. I was just sitting around here, farting around, having a good old uh, Pepsi here. Someone told me that they help dissolve kidney stones. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's an excuse to have a Pepsi every once in a while and not feel bad. And and every once in a while, I'll just put together an engine motor set it on a display stand you've probably seen a couple of my videos in my room and just kind of set it there on display some of them i'll grab and put in a car some i just leave them set there for uh display purposes like in some guy's fancy uh car collection but anyway i was farting around doing that watching videos and i came across a video from uh, todd h lug nuts hot rod garage good channel lots of cool stuff if you haven't uh, checked it out I would advise you to go do that it would be worth it but anyway he had some good questions too we're getting all kinds of good uh, participating questions here lately and he was uh, kind of wondering uh, what your first build was on your YouTube channel and luckily I haven't been on here just a little under a year, maybe a month, month and a half, so I can still remember uh, without having to go back and you know look through 500 videos. And, and he also asked uh, our first build, like you know, ever. Uh, I'm sure most of us uh, don't have that. Some of us might. I wish I did. I did until the thing with my brother, and they all got thrown away that sad sad story but I do have some old builds of mine that I'll show my oldest one that I luckily I took with me when I moved out but my first ever car I showed it in on my channel was this year vintage build AMT 40 Ford Coupe because uh, when I started the channel uh, one of the main things I want to do was share old builds from way back in the day, you know, 60s, early 60s, as far back as I could go. Because, uh, you know, like you guys all know, I, I uh, was collecting these quite a bit. I love these things. But anyway, this is the first one I, I showed on the video. My first video was like most of you guys. I didn't talk. I just walked around, filmed stuff, and put it on, and... And then I wasn't going to do anymore. And then everybody said, no, no, I'll do some more. So I did. And this was it. Along with a couple other ones in this video. But this is the first one. And, you know, you guys can all go back and look at it. But this is just a nice, clean build. This is also the first batch of vintage built models and model stuff I ever bought. Basically a first collection in a big box a whole bunch of builds, a whole bunch of parts. One of my metal drawer things up here was in that purchase. Well, the drawers were all full of old parts, a bunch of old model car magazines, and model car boxes. A big box, big box. Geez, probably three foot by three and a half foot, something like that. Big white box. I'll never, I was working at Shucks Auto Supply in Coeur d'Alene, and it was in Nickel Nicks. And I called the guy up, and he said, I still got it. I'll bring it over to you. I told you in the video, $50 for the whole box. Yeah, that was a lot of money back then, but I scraped it up, and I'm glad I did. But that's the first one ever on my channel of any kind of model by itself. And really cool, Bill. I love that color. I just, it's, you know, one of my favorites. It kind of comes apart, so we'll lift it up. And then a couple, and then I did a couple more videos about my vintage builds. And then, you know, I wasn't going to do a whole lot of uh, how tos and stuff because everything I was doing, uh, guys were already showing. Uh, you know, I have a few little things maybe over over time here that that I share. People ask questions and stuff, but I thought, well, you know, I, I'm going to show a bill have an unboxing and do a few updates so this here coincidentally another 40 the Ravel monogram thing 
was the first one I showed unboxing. I think only had like one progress video on it. And then uh, showed the finished build. And uh, it got lots of comments and lots of likes. And, and uh, a few comments on tips and ideas. And it was pretty cool. And that's when I started learning that uh, all you guys out there are pretty cool. 99.9% uh, .9 do not put you down do not say negative things uh, they say encouraging things so you know so that so I you know I'm gonna keep doing it is what I told myself but this is the first the first build I did really nice kit like I said in my video it's a little bit nicer than the uh, AMT one uh, except for the big holes there but you know if you prop the hood up and stuff I did the hinges on there you don't really see it, but you can fill those. I almost did that just because they look kind of goofy with those big giant holes there. But this thing's got a crazy cool flathead. Uh, really nice. I don't know if anybody's built this. It's the one that's uh, yellow on the box. I don't know when it first came out. But... And the paint job didn't turn out all that great. But I did orange to go with all my orange 32s in my, I did a video on that, my fantasy builds if I was a bazillionaire, what I would have. I'd have a whole bunch of orange 32s, orange 40, and a couple other orange things. But this here, check out the, the detail on that. It's got the little holes in the X member cross frame, whatever you call it, thingy there. Nice customized the front end and the rear axle and the dual exhaust just really really nice kit really and those wheels tires love those wheels interior whoops interior is pretty cool I, I messed around with the orange sharpie to look at the pleats like the uh uh, yeah, the like the pleats that go around the seat, you know. I was messing around with that. Done that on a few. Yes, did the orange and white in there. I did it. Up, oops, see, I did that's all. That's an orange sharpie along the pleat there. Sun visors, everything. Really neat kit. So anyway, that's the first one I did on the tube channel, and it was fun. Like all you guys, you know. Very first one, I was nervous and I was voice was quivering and and but I I only did one take. I, I don't like I don't like doing do overs. So you guys all know that too from some of my videos. So I just went with it and it was okay. It was fun and that's what like like I said I had a lot of fun doing this. And but anyway, there's that bad boy. It looks cool in the back. Got the dual exhaust coming out. So anyway, and then the other part of have uh, of Todd's uh, question was your first bill. Well, I don't even know if I can remember my first first bill. Uh, my brother turned me on to models. He bought he cut his foot fighting fires, so he bought a model when he was off work, sitting in the living room building the. Uh, uh, crap. What's that model called? I can't remember. Oh, jeez. Anyway, well, I'll think of it. But I remember him sitting there working on it, and I was just fascinated. Cool box art. Uh, what the hell is that thing with the dual blowers and the glass hood? Man, this is getting scary, dude. My memory. I'm kind of scared now. Uh, anyway... So, you know, so my dad uh, bought me a model, and I think it was that 60, AMT 68 or something like that, uh, Coronet, all raked up on the box. And But then I started building, and I seen the Red Alert Chevelle, and I loved Chevelles even when I was a little kid. So this was the AMT Red Alert 72. The actual red alert was a 70, but they did in this in a, a 72, and I built this thing, 
probably I, I don't know what year the red alert came out to be accurate guys uh, obviously later in 72 when this kit came out so maybe three or four something like that I built this I was just in high school I graduated in 76 so you know I discovered girls and cars and I bought a real one of these so I slowed down a little bit but I still built but this one and I got the monogram 69 Camaro that was out about this same time but this is my first one I'll give you an idea that it's really my first one we got the string going on in there in the thread in there yeah that was cool back then though and I think I mentioned it before my dad gave me an old radio he said tear it apart for the wires because he was a junker so that's where I got those heater hoses and the radiator holes and I didn't know where where crap went I kind of had an idea but yeah I got the white exhaust I've been asked about that a lot because that's not realistic but I just tell them it was uh, that way because it was a show car and a lot of guys bought that story but <laughs> that still doesn't make up for it see I cut the exhaust because they were molded to the rear axle I cut them off and left them down I cut them off with uh, if you can see with a heated up exacto knife and I got the little springs in there I don't know if you can see see that watch this watch are you watching where are we at here damn yes I said oops sorry I seen this in scale auto I mean not scale auto in the model car science or car model or one of ones and can you see that going up and down that's because there's little springs god damn why can't I there you go see the little springs right up there and then it goes like that pretty slick huh pretty good for some little punk high school kid and then and then and it rolls because nothing cooler than Kragers white letter tires rolling down the road cruising down Main Street about 15 miles an hour got the red behind there but the wheel backs are so far in there you can't really see but that inspired me to buy the real thing and uh, there's a picture up there on the wall I think I've already showed it you guys though but you know gloss gloss black interior I will admit well no I don't I don't uh, you know I did the chrome trim with the brush and you know by the looks you know I did it when I built it but this has to be the first one I did that on because I don't have very many with the chrome done like that but you can see the body mold lines are still on there didn't didn't think about that didn't think about doing the seam on the engine motor halves you know all kinds of little things like that you know I didn't know I just uh, built it paint jobs held up pretty good though for all these years a little bit of stuff in it but you know I just painted that outside at my parents house I even did the little dry brush on the emblems there anyway that's my oldest build that I have I've shown it before but but Todd wanted to see what we do so very good question uh, Mr. Lug Nuts Hot Rod Garage excellent question I think we all like showing our oldest build and what we did a long long time ago kind of reminisce a little bit and uh, see how much we've changed over the years I should have got the monogram 70 that I built when I opened the doors and everything because I, I had a 72 Malibu 350 and then in about 77 I bought a 70 SS 396 four speed uh, Chevelle in Spokane at the Lemon Tree car lot for twelve hundred dollars now you probably can't even buy a 70 Chevelle stock wheel for twelve hundred dollars but I am babbling so 
will end this. But anyway, I built that one with opening doors and stuff. Kind of like the real one I had. And if I'd have known, I would have kept them both. Anyway, with that, I'm out of here. There's the uh, oldest build. First build. Excellent question, Todd. I appreciate it. Hopefully more guys get in on it. See what you guys did first. So with that, another video down the tube. And I hope I have another one tomorrow because I got some stuff I was going to show, but I keep getting interrupted. So anyway, everybody take care. Subscribers, thank you again very much. I love all of you. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, you know, please do. You know, I'm not going to twist your arm, but, you know, if you like what you see, subscribe and ding the bell. And you'll see my videos and you can make some comments and give me some ideas and tips and uh, tell me about your channel if I don't already know. So with that, I'm out of here. Everybody take care. Have a good day and we'll talk at you later. Bye.